Hey everyone, and welcome to our instructional video on the more information or the ballistic output tab. So in AB Quantum, when you're on the HUD to get there, shoot menu, and then you can see we're on the HUD, you have this little tab down here, and this tab gives you more information about your firing solution. You can see time of flight, our energy, velocity, mock. Do know that these are at the target this is not your muzzle velocity this is not the energy at the muzzle and to demonstrate that I'm going to go ahead and set our range to five yards we'll bring it back up and you can see now that we're closer to our muzzle velocity closer to our muzzle energy uh, the mock at the muzzle we're not at the muzzle but do know that these numbers are not the velocity at the muzzle these are the velocity this is the energy at the current target distance so with that being said let's go ahead and set this range out a little bit to build these numbers up you have an output here that displays your range your SG this is done in real time if you watch this SG number here if I your gyroscopic stability or your stability gradient you can see it's now 2.4 I'm gonna update the pressure now so you can watch that change again 2.48 so this does update in real time just to keep that in mind you have your time of flight your impact energy uh, that's especially important under certain applications your impact velocity uh, if you if this can be used in many, many scenarios, but even as something as simple as you purchase your own steel targets and they have a velocity rating, you've got that right here. Uh, you have your current mock, so if you want to know if you're in the transonic zone or not. The current amount of aerodynamic jump, do note that that's tied into wind speed 1. If I adjust wind speed 2, you'll see nothing actually happens to this number, but watch as I change wind speed 1. You can see that number change. Your current amount of spin drift your current amount of horizontal and vertical Coriolis. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and set this to zero, and I'm going to set the latitude to zero, and I want you all to see what happens. You can see we've zeroed out Coriolis now, so just note that these do change in real time. There you go. Another thing to note about this additional information is some of it can be turned off in the settings. It, it is compounded into the firing solution, but if I go to the fire control settings here and I turn these off, and we'll leave Coriolis on just for this demonstration, you can now see that they're off, and they're not calculated in the firing solution. Remember these numbers, 771 and 210. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to turn those on, and I'm going to turn Coriolis off. And you'll see 755 and 192. You can see Coriolis is now off. I'm going to go ahead and turn those back on. So one more demonstration here to get everything turned back on. And you can see they're now back on. So in this little tab here, you've got more data about your firing solution that does uh, update in real time based on the information that you provide. And this information is the range your stability gradient, your time of flight to the target currently at 800 yards, the impact energy at 800 yards, the velocity at 800 yards, the current Mach, the amount of aerodynamic jump, the amount of spin drift, the amount of horizontal and vertical Coriolis at this range. This is not at the muzzle, which has been some confusion for some people and that's okay uh, and another thing to note is if I go to the WES tab if you have it you've also got some of that information up here it's important to note that the WES target uh, information acts on its own but this range actually updates with the HUD so if I go if I had a rangefinder connected or a device that could control this it would update automatically but I'm gonna adjust the range here in the WES controller just to show you that you can use this, see the elevation, wind one and wind two adjusted itself, so did the energy. You can actually use this as your HUD, and if I go back to the solution, you'll see that the range has updated. So if you're using this card and you have this open and you see that range is covered, you can actually pull up the WES controller for those that have it, and we can say 250. 
or you can just use a compatible rangefinder and you can see that information does update while the card is open. So that's another another advantage to having uh, WES unlocked. Now with that information in hand for y'all, I'd like to show you one more thing and this is going to be true for both the range card and the target card. So we'll just do it on the range card. That same information you're going to find here in the range card. I've scrolled to the right and you can see energy, velocity, time of flight. This extra ballistic information is at these target ranges. They're not at the muzzle. So you actually have that data here in the range and you do have it in the target card as well. And that is the extra ballistic information that's provided to you all through AB Quantum. Uh, what it is, where it is, and how to utilize it hopefully. If you have any questions or if you need uh, any assistance, you can always just hit the support button open the navigation menu, hit the support button, and send us uh, an email or a ticket, and we'll be happy to assist. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or send them to us. Please like and subscribe to these videos, and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.